Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best instant camera in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 7. Fujifilm Instax Link Wide The downside to most instant cameras is their size. If you want large photos, you'll need a large camera, which can be a pain to lug around. An instant photo printer takes up a lot less room and lets you print directly from your smartphone. That almost certainly means better image quality than what you'll get from the cameras on this list. The Instax Link Wide is entirely controlled by a smartphone companion app, letting you edit, crop, and customize your pictures before printing, and has a built-in battery that's good enough for up to 100 prints between charges. It could be quicker to top up, needing several hours on mains power before it's fully charged, but that's really our only criticism. Because it develops photos, rather than printing them like an inkjet, each one has the signature contrast-heavy and colorful style we expect from instant film. You'll have to wait a minute or two between pressing print on your phone and the final image appearing in your hands, but that's all part of the charm of instant film. We think it's a better buy than the Instax Wide 300 camera, which hasn't seen an update in 8 years and is rather cumbersome to use. If you want the biggest instant photos possible, this is arguably the best way to go about it. Live Life Wide the exciting Instax Link Wide smartphone printer has landed. Creating the largest prints in the Instax product lineup, this wide-format smartphone printer is overflowing with must-have features to make sure nothing is lost. After all, the fullness of every moment should be captured for all to see. That's why we say print it wide. Not only does the Instax Link Wide printer let you get everyone in the photo, but the free Instax Link Wide downloadable app also adds a whole other dimension. Connect your smartphone to the printer wirelessly via Bluetooth, and you are able to add text to your photos, resize, apply a filter, play with the contrast. The options are endless. Swipe up on your smartphone, photo, and print. Select your image preference. Number 6. Fujifilm Instax Swear SQ40 In many ways, we think the Fujifilm Instax SQ40 is everything that an instant camera should be. For starters, its old-school design is both stylish and easy to use. The body is relatively chunky, but it features a small contour on the rear that we found makes it easier to hold than the Mini 12. We didn't find too much opportunity for creativity during our review, but the payoff is point-and-shoot simplicity. The Instax SQ40 handles brightness automatically, generally adjusting well and all but bright sunlight, where it can overexpose a bit. There are just two modes to choose between, standard and selfie. The latter adjusts the focus distance to 0.3 to 0.5 meters for close-up shots. We did find its fixed angle of view slightly tight, but parallax correction at least means what you're seeing through the viewfinder is essentially what you'll get printed out. And the 62x62 mm square prints the SQ40 produces deliver exactly the desaturated vintage vibes you'd expect from a retro camera. It's pricey, but the SQ40 is a fantastic party camera that almost anyone can use. Spark unique moments of creativity with the INSTX Square SQ40 Dom. Instant Camera A chick instant camera that looks as good as it shoots. That's right, it's got a sophisticated black textured finish that'll go with any style. And it's remarkably easy to operate, helping you capture beautiful INSTX Square instant photos every time. In fact, when it came to designing the square silhouette, we had only the boldest in mind. We added the feel of analog photography to bring you a timeless look that'll only enhance your unique flair. Plus, by making the INSTX Square SQ40 camera wonderfully versatile, it's always ready for all your creative moments. Simply twist to turn on, twist to enter selfie mode, and twist to turn off. And with automatic exposure, expressing your creativity really couldn't be easier. Whether you're behind the camera or framing yourself in the selfie mirror ready for a close-up, just point and shoot and let the INSTX Square SQ40 camera do the rest. Instax Square Instant Film sold separately. Number 5. Canon Ivy Clyke Plus Slash Zomini S Canon's first instant effort is actually a hybrid, blending analog film with digital smarts. The zero-ink paper it uses doesn't need exposing to light like regular instant film, so the camera can be much smaller. The Ivy Click Plus Zomini S is truly pocket-sized, beating even Fuji's Instax Mini Lip Play for portability. A built-in LED ring flash helps you take pleasing portraits, 
the mirrored lens barrel is purpose-built for selfies and focusing is automatic, making this a great party camera. That said, we found in testing that it can be sluggish to start up, and printing a picture takes around 10 seconds, much slower than our current favorite, the Fuji Instax Mini 12. The credit card-sized prints it produces are detailed though, with colors resembling a traditional 35mm photo. Battery life typically stretches to two packs of 10 images, but even with an SD card installed, it won't take any more pictures once you're on a film. From our hands-on time with it, we found the 8MP sensor is merely on par with today's entry-level smartphones, and with no built-in screen, you'll need a computer to review your digital snaps. It seems a lot simpler than other hybrid cameras, but built-in Bluetooth support lets it perform double duty as a portable printer. Being able to turn your smartphone snaps into physical prints gives it an Edgover bulkier instant cameras, and it's sensibly priced too. Number 4. Polaroid Go With the Go, Polaroid has edged ahead of Fuji on instant innovation, something that hasn't really happened since the late 1980s. It's officially the world's smallest analog instant camera, fitting in the palm of your hand. It's true that some hybrid instant cameras are even more pocketable, but they tend to cheat by printing images on zeroing paper, rather than with a chemical development process. You get the real deal here, in square format like the larger eye type film, only significantly smaller. It's a shrunken version of the Polaroid now, with most of the same features, including self-timer and double exposure mode, which should please more advanced photographers as well as instant beginners. Autofocus hasn't made the cut, however, so there's a higher chance of ending up with blurry results if you don't keep a good distance from your subject. At launch, it costs roughly the same as the full-size Polaroid now, making it a lot pricier than the entry-level Fuji Instax Mini 11. But that's a figure worth paying if you want an instant camera you can take just about anywhere. Oh, the places you'll go, and the times you'll share and treasure, all captured with your Polaroid Go. Pocket-sized and built to go, go, go where? Number 3. Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo if you're looking for a camera that mixes the charm of instant photos with the convenience of digital shooting, the Instax Mini Evo is a fine choice. Its digital photo quality won't beat your smartphone, but that isn't the point. The main benefit is being able to decide which shots you print out to avoid wasting precious film. Based on our time with it, we think the Mini Evo is also one of the best-looking instant cameras around and more compact than Fuji's other models. Another great party trick is its ability to double as a printer for your smartphone snaps. Plus, there's the option to play around with numerous built-in effects and filters before you hit the print button. These digital elements mean the Instax Mini Evo doesn't offer a pure instant photography experience and is more complex than alternatives like the Instax Mini 11. But we found that its versatility and charm more than compensate for those who want something more than a point and shoot. With a fox leather and chrome look inspired by an old rangefinder camera, the Evo Mini is undeniably stylish. The construction is almost entirely plastic, so it doesn't feel as premium as it looks, yet is reassuringly weighty to hold. Like the older Instax Mini LePlay, the Mini Evo doesn't expose its film directly. By fitting a digital sensor between the lens and film, it allows for a much smaller body than a traditional instant camera. The lens only protrudes slightly from the main body, so will easily slip in and out of a bag, but only the biggest of trouser pockets will accommodate it. The front of the camera is rather sparse, with a power switch, shutter button, and small selfie mirror surrounding the lens barrel, which can be twisted to cycle between lens modes. Up top, there's a second shutter button, setting shortcut, and a mode dial dedicated to effects, as well as a cold shoe mount for fitting accessories. To print a photo, you pull a lever style like an analog film advance, which is a neat touch. Only a few of these buttons are labeled though, which might leave newcomers unsure of what to press. Some only see the ordinary not you, and neither does the new INSTX Mini EVO hybrid instant camera. Instead, this innovative analog-style camera brings what you love to life. Every angle, in all the colors, with all the creative options. With 10 lens effect and 10 film effect options, you can create the exact vision you have in mind. Experiment with vivid colors, go retro, add softness to the focus or lose the color. Adjust the exposure, alter the white balance, turn the flash on or off, even select macro mode when the mood calls for a close-up. It's your shot, and there are 100 ways to capture it. Got a print-worthy memory? The INSTX Mini EVO camera prints instant photos at 600 dpi for a stunning image quality. Select NSTX rich mode for a bright and immersive look, 
or INSTX natural mode for a cool and classic look. Either way, you can capture it all, then print what you love as a 2x3 INSTX mini instant photo. Want to share life's beautiful moments on? Number 2. Polaroid Not Plus Combining the boxy form factor, dual lens autofocus, and detailed image quality of the Polaroid Now with the Bluetooth connectivity of the Onestep Plus, we think the revamped Now Plus is Polaroid's most complete instant camera yet. Connecting to the updated smartphone app opens up a realm of creative shooting modes. In addition to self-timer, double exposure, light painting, and manual exposure options, there's now an aperture propriety mode for experimenting with depth of field as well as a tripod mode for use with the new screw mount beneath. While the Now Plus remains as straightforward to use as any point-and-shoot, we found in our review that it's also a great option for getting creative. What limits this creativity a little is the cost of Polaroid iTyke film, which makes you think twice about wasting shots. But when you get it right, we discovered in testing that results are just as instant photos should be, delicious, vintage-style square prints that are large at 4.2x3.4 in. With a 3.1 in image area in the hand, the Polaroid Now Plus is just like the Polaroid Now. It's bulky for an instant camera, though it does churn out those large prints. You're most likely to keep it in a bag than your hand and work it with both hands. The film holders now pops open via a button and film pack slots in with ease, ready to go. You've got a power button and flash button on the rear. The latter is pressed to deactivate the flash, otherwise flash is automatic. This reverse approach makes complete sense for an instant camera that benefits from flash in more scenarios than it doesn't. The camera is powered by an internal battery rechargeable via USB. That's a decent plus point over many other instant cameras. It also means that film packs do not require their own power, though the Now Plus does accept classic 600 film. In the upper left is a viewfinder to compose the shots, though like all instant cameras it's not directly connected to the lens so don't expect the composition to materialize on paper as you see it. In general, keeping your subjects central is enough to get the shot, but for close-up subjects where composition is less forgiving, placing subjects a little to the right of middle aligns the printed image better. A shooting guide for beginners in the box would be welcome. Number 1. Fujifilm Instax Mini 12 We think the ideal instant camera should be easy to use, comfortable to hold, and produce attractive prints at a reasonable price. Picking up where the Instax Mini 11 left off, Fujifilm's latest effort gets even closer to perfection. While our tests found that its bubble-like design can be a little slippery in the hand, it's otherwise easy for anyone to use. The Fujifilm Instax Mini 12 now turns on with a twist of the lens, which is more intuitive than previous editions. You still get the useful option of pulling the lens on to engage close-up mode, while the addition of parallax correction improves viewfinder accuracy so that what you see when framing is closer to what's actually printed. We found in testing that the camera still tends to overexpose snaps in bright sunlight, but repositioned exposure and flash sensors mean your fingers are less likely to affect readings. While its prints can feel small, the Instax Mini 12 makes it easy overall for newbies to capture rich, vintage-style party snaps at a relatively low cost. If you'd prefer similar performance with a retro flavor, we suggest taking a look at the Fujifilm Instax Mini 40. 